All right, first pull of the 5-6 game. Here we go. Big Tex with the disc. Where's the handle here? Okay, there we go. This is like tilted super far. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. I don't like this. All right, Jackie again. Over to Coney. And that is, that's the score, I guess, for White. White holds, 1-0. Yeah. All right, White pulls. I can't tell who that is. That's Bree. Looking four side for Abby. She's got it. Looking Felipe. But it is a turnover. So White gets a chance to break on the first D point. I don't, I literally don't know what they could possibly be talking about. What do you stack on my I think they all just wanted to touch each other. I turned and I thought it was you and I just looked at my ass. Something else happened. Your arcy was open for like 15 seconds and then you just chuck it across the field. Oh my god. It's like a way to him. Alright, disc in the middle of the field. I don't know oh. how that got caught. I assume that's going to be a foul on Tokar Peter Tokar. Charlie will keep the disc. Tokar Pater. Tokar Pater. Charlie looking for a reset. Fourth side now. Good fake. Abby with a good mark. Just going no round. We're super hard right now. And it just gets ripped over the top. Crump's able to bring it in. Who would have thought? Another call. Oh, I believe it's a stall. So we have a contested stall here. Disc will be coming in stalling eight. And Pinecone with a nice grab. Nice around over to Crump. Oh, geez, throws it back to Piney. Good mark, but we get a all the way around. Oh, it's a turnover. It's a turnover. I, she might not have caught it. I don't know. So Abby's gonna bring it in on the cone. She's got Dunbar back with her, but Griffin is unguarded on the under. Hey, Dutch. Nice inside to Felipe. Hey, Dutch, do you know who this is? This sounds like a young female artist. I feel like you would like her. Felipe looking across field. Does she have, does she have dyed hair also? Is it blue? Could be. It might be blonde though. Adam's making fun of Dutch. Meanwhile, Neon is scoring. Makes it 1-1, two holds. That's a great throw, great run. Nice and easy, that's like a one throw score pretty much for White, 2-1. All right, white to pull here. All holds so far. Tokar grabs it, censors it. There's, ah, geez, centers it over to Felipe, who whips it up to somebody. I can't tell because it's too small on the screen. Back over to Felipe. Felipe continues over to. Is that Evan? I think. Trapped here on the sideline now. Look to get it off. There it is. First one. And there's the nice continue. And they go all the way, oh, but just out of the reach of Abby. Wait, how, why is Abby here? Isn't her team at a tournament? Well, good for her. 
All right, crump on the cone. Over to, to cone. Charlie, high stall, throws it away. And then it's a, wow, she dug that out. Great grab from Abby. Feeds her the disc, and she gets it for the score. That's another hold, 2-2. Two -two. All right, we got ourselves an on-serve tie ball game. ODA to bring it in. Looks like we're vert stack here. This, I think, is the first point that Pauly is playing as the stand-in for Cole. And they're going to rip it to him deep right away. Yeah. He caught that, and that's a goal. That's nice and easy for White. 3-2. Right, Felipe, middle of the field with the disc. Nice little cheeky throw over to... Uh, oh, wow, that's a great throw. All the way across the field, Abby with another goal. Abby to Abby for the score. Nice, easy hold. We get that to continue. We got ourselves a 3-3 game. All right, let's see if uh, it's another hold. Coney. Over to ODA. Bird stack. Looks like they got Susie out the back first. Nice grab from her. Back over to ODA. ODA, nice inside to Cone. Just a lot of handler movement currently. Susie's been looking great on this point so far. Big text on the under. Oh, guy almost got there. Big, big Tex looking for it. She wants it. She wants it all. Texas is a shooter, baby. Woo! Big Tex putting it to the end zone. Coming down with it for Owen. And that keeps the holds rolling. 4-3, white. <laughs> Someone just said, how many beers deep is Paul right now? Because he's not as drunk as Cole would be. And someone was giving Paul beers and he just said, yeah, I'm not Cole. <laughs> That's amazing. Neon getting pressured here a little bit. But now they've been able to swing the disc around. Nice around throw to Bree. Oh, just out of her reach. That's only the second turnover of this game. Well, second turnover from offense this game. So, White has one turn from their D-line, Neon has two turns from their O-line. Pinecone picks up, immediately throws it over to Pauly, Pauly just rips it, and uh, that's a guy who hasn't played in here in quite some time, but he... he <laughs> He gets bailed out by a foul call, I think, from Felipe, maybe? Oh, a travel call. So it was a travel call, so it comes back on the throw to Pauly. So it just gets swung around. Not continued, though. Back to Coney. Nice inside. Oh, that's thrown right into the turf. I don't think he caught that. Yeah, he, he turns it over. Lipe now. Looking to hold. White has had the disc twice now on D, but has not been able to capitalize with a break yet. Neon showing some patience here. Getting it over to Abby, who's been putting in work so far this game. <coughs> Bree, great cut-up line, and she catches that. Just burns her mark, and GG. So we are still on serve, 4-4. Practice tomorrow, right? All right, ODA getting the disc on the sideline here. Centers it over to Cone. Lays at the back of the vert stack for White here. 
Ooh, great D, but able to be brought down by Crump. Does not throw it to Big Tex. I thought he was going to. Let that fly. Oh, that goes over to Owen, and that is out of here. That's the white team we all know and love. So that's the first turnover by White O-Line. Let's see if Neon is able to capitalize with their first break opportunity. We're going to have Felipe picking up the disc, Cone on the mark. We got Griff at the back of the stack being guarded by Crump. Abby is flanked here in the handler set. Looked off the first one, throws it to the second, and it's bobbled but caught. Good inside. Griffin, the nice little scoop over the top. Jasney gets his mark to fall. Another inside guy, but there's a pick call on that, so it's gonna go back. All right, Neon is right outside the end zone here. They're probably gonna look to throw a reset to Felipe. Never mind, they go all the way around to Griff who drops it. Crump unguarded. Great throw from Cone. Oh no, it's tailing away, never mind. Catches it, but he's out of bounds, oh no. Just wrong foot came down first. Dang. Throw hung just a little bit too much, so. Another turnover from White's O-line. Neon gets another chance here. They do have to go the full length of the field. All right, disc is now in. Nice inside throw. Griffin around, Hog on the inside. Oh, and that's just thrown behind, I think it got deed. White still with a chance here. Oh, great layout from Big Tex. Good continue, ooh, I thought that was gonna go. Susie on the under. They're forcing backhand now. Oh, that's a great D from Felipe. Great job. I think Cone's got to not make that cut and let Big Tex come under and get that. But I guess he can't really tell. Lipe throws it out there. Jazny and ODA. Jazny brings it down over top the old man. Shows him the disc, gives him a high five and says, hey, that's the first break of the game, buddy. Go grab some pine. 5-4, Neon. All right, after the first break, we got Pinecone bringing the disc in here. Very short pull. Throws to the first under. They're forcing backhand on White. Great around to Pauly. Not able to continue there. Throws it right back up the fourth side. Surveying, surveying. High release backhand over to Pauly. Just flips it out there to Charlie. Charlie with a nice around. Cone with a great grab, and that's a score. Gets us back to 5-5. Five, five. Neon still up a break. All right, Crump on the pole. It's gonna be a nice blade. And that rolls all the way out the back. So they will take it at the line. Felipe does not know the rules, but he also doesn't speak English, so that's okay. Crump tells him what's up, big text with the high five. And wow, drunk Griffin just drops it. Big text picks up. Oh, there we go. And that's how they do it in Texas. Big style for the break. Gets us back on serve, six, five, white. All right, Crump with the pull, back on serve now. Neon receiving, down one. Bree centers it back over to Dunbar. Great inside throw there to Felipe. Good underthrow to the middle of the field. Great faking. Gets it over to Felipe here. Pick called. Someone's gonna stop. A lot of space on this break side for Neon. 
Let's see if they can exploit that here. They throw it over to Bree. A little congested. Over to Dunbar. Throws it right back to Bree. Great job. That's great movement there now. Over to Felipe here on the break side. Over to Bree. Swings it all the way across the field to Dunbar. Great job of moving the disc. Felipe just outside the end zone. Dump swing here. Nope, they're just going to get the dump off. Disc hung just a little too long. Oh, wow, they threw it back over right outside the end zone. They're going to talk about it. Owen called him in. Crump called him out. They're going to stick with Owen. That's a goal. Tie game, 6-6. Six, six. All right, we got the last point of the first half here. White receiving, gets it over to Pinecone, throws it back over to Dave. Dave throws it right up the sideline. Ooh, wow, that was very close to being a turnover. Looking for a reset. Good around to Dave. Oh, God, he did throw that. Jesus. I did not expect him to throw that. And for good reason, because it was a turnover. So Neon with a huge chance here to get this break and then be receiving out of halftime. Good mark there from Paul to stop that. But Abby with a nice easy under. Disc in the middle of the field. Now it's over to the four side a little bit. Griffin's got it. Throws a hammer. Looking for the hog. And the hog grabs it for the goal going into half. That is a break, and they will also be receiving. So it is 7-6 at halftime. Moving out. Uh, that I was interested in that, in that sort of thing. I sure. Think, I think it would be a great, a great fit. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it. All right. See you, man. Good playing. All right, Neon receiving after half. Ta chance for what we refer to as the quasi-break here. Good patience so far. They came out in a side stack. Now they're kind of just floating in the field here. They need to have some, some semblance of a stack. It looks like they're trying to get to vertical. Over to Griffin in the backfield. Down the four side to Felipe, and Felipe lets it fly. Jasny, oh, he dropped it when he came down. Oh, I don't know. That's tough. I mean, there's definitely contact. I don't know if the contact is why he dropped it, though. Yeah, he definitely caught it, but when he hit the ground. I felt left. You fell right. I felt right. You fell left. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Wow, they broke the disc. Holy cow. So there's going to be a foul contest, I think. I don't know, though. All right, so we are going to have a contested foul here. Had to grab a new disc because they popped a hole in that bad boy. Great grab from Jazz, but could not hold it through the contact of supposedly Charlie. I'm not going to make a call on that, but as well as the ground. Jazzy makes a nice under here and gets it. Throws over to Bree on the continue. Throws it back up to Jazz and he's got it this Yes, he caught that. Okay, yeah, he caught it. All right, and that makes it 8-6. That's the quasi break we're talking about. Now they're up two. All right, another 4-2 point here. There's been a lot of 4-2 played in this game so far. It looks like that landed out of bounds, I believe. So we're going to see Vert stack out of white here. We're going to have Pine and ODA in the backfield. Pauly is setting the stack. Let's see, I think they're going to go... Oh, they kind of flood here to Big Tex, but picked up pretty well by Neon at first. But then she ends up being wide open on the second look. Big Tex rips. And that's just an easy goal. Big Tex to little Pauly. 8-7. Neon up. All right, Crump on the pull. Patented Blade over to Bree, who will center to Felipe. 
Throws it over to Tokar, no, Dunbar, who lets it fly. And not even Abby Chang with the fast wheels can get to that one, so. Chance for White to claw back here with the first break they'll need. Gonna have a vert stack. We got Piney and Crump in the backfield. Susie off the back for White. I just heard Daniel Lehman cackle. Wow, that was loud. Susie with a nice grab here. Forcing backhand from Neon. A lot of space there for that four side cut. Looking for a reset, high stall count situation, gets it over to Crump. Crump now on the four sideline. Throws a cheeky little backhand here, kind of inside to Charlie. Charlie was looking break right away, but got picked up and now he throws it all the way across for what ends up being an easy goal for White. That's the first break they need, gets us back to 8-8. Eight, eight. Still down one break though. All right, that is, that is straight in to the rafters. That might have hit the ceiling, not even a rafter. Holy cow, that thing was like a rocket. <laughs> Two call from the sideline. So they will have a very short field for Neon. All right, there's side stack here. It looks like they're gonna just give it to Abby right away. Sorry, bad camera work. Felipe comes all the way across to the four side maybe? Can't tell, Paulie's kind of straight up here. Okay, no, they are forcing, okay, again, straight up, I don't know. Tough to tell. High release flick from Abby, really nice. Over to Griffin. Griffin with a low throw. That might have been blocked by Cone, I couldn't tell. Looked kind of like it was very strange coming out of his hand. Throw it over to Crump here now. White looking to move pretty quickly. A little give and go action. Big Tex, lets it fly here. Big rip, and a nice grab from Owen for the break. We are back on serve. White is now up one, nine, eight, 20 minutes to play. All right, after the back-to-back -back breaks, White is now up. This is going to be a 3-3 three, three point. Bree catches that right near the sideline, centers it over to Felipe, who just turns it over right away. Trump looking break now. First one, can't continue it over to Big Tex. She's coming on the strike now though. Oh man, I would have stayed with her there. Over to Susie though, nice throw on the break side. Now they got that inside window wide open for a score. They throw it over to Crump here. Looks break side, still looking break side. Over to Big Tex. Can't get there though, just a little bit too far. So Felipe gets another chance here. Trying to tie this game up at nines. Got about 18 minutes to go. Let's see, it looks like they're gonna be pretty straight up here on the mark. Uh, no, he's gonna let them have the inside. And they throw it deep to Griff and he lays out and just can't get it just off of the tip of his fingers there. Sober Griffin probably catches that, but four Bud Lights deep Griffin does not. So Crump again with the disc. White looking for their third consent. Oh wow, that's kind of crazy. And it works, wow. That does not, though. Felipe peeled off to try and D that. Throw to Susie, and then Susie threw it to the wide open male player, but it was just not a good throw and ended up being a turnover, so. Felipe again picks up, throwing it four side to Hogg, who's unguarded, pretty much. Now Griff has it. Ooh, he thought about it, but he throws it to Hogg for the nice, easy gainer there. And that goes around, but easily deed by White. Interesting time to take that shot. They had a lot of chances earlier with pretty much that same look, but way less traffic. Tex over to Crump. Crump throws deep. And that is another easy D for the deep throw. I believe that was Abby on that one. Lady's getting some easy Ds here on this point. Griff with the nice throw over to Felipe, big gainer. 
Dumps it over to Bree. Yeah, Bree. And Bree lets it fly to Evan. And Hog with the goal. We got ourselves a tie ball game again. 9 9, folks. All right. Tokar, Peter Tokar to pull here. Usually he's the guy catching them. But he's the one who slings this. We got Owen with the disc here. Over to Pauly, who swings it to his father. And his dad throws it over to White for the score. That's maybe the easiest score all day for either team. Almost no defense anywhere to be seen. Makes it 10-9, 15 minutes to go. All right, Crump on the pull. This one looks good. Looks like it's gonna hang for a long time and be fairly deep. All right, Felipe's got it now. Oh, wow, sorry, I thought that was going to Abby. Stats over to Dunbar, who's pretty much unguarded. They continue all the way to Hog. Looking for Abby, got her in the middle. Nice grab by Chang. She needs a reset now. Over to Felipe, nice cut. Thought about throwing that to Hog, but doesn't. Instead goes back to Abby for the goal. Nice point there from Neon. Just takes the nice conservative throws. Nothing too difficult. Puts us back at 10-10. All right, Griffin on the pull. Yeah, Pinecone bringing it in. Over to Big Tex on the four side. Oh, sorry, that's a break side, actually. Nice throw from her. Ooh, really good fake there. Gets people moving. Makes it easy for Pauly to grab it. And he throws a nice cheeky throw here for White. Back-to-back -back easy scores for White. Their offense is running smooth. 11-10. All right, ooh, a sharp roller here from White. Looking to pin them or just, I don't know, didn't want to throw it deep. Looks like some switching happened from Neon, or sorry, from White on Neon. Felipe throws the hook. Right at the line, Hogs not able to bring it in. Charlie was closing, but just ran out of real estate, honestly, for Hog. So Crump will bring the disc in. Oh, it's it, the disc is right here, but it comes in way over there, yeah. So we're going to see vert stack from white here. Looks like it's going to be force flick. We're going to have Griffin on the mark. No, it's forced backhand. Holy cow, I got faked out. Oh no, and that's just dropped. That's that's no good. That was a good opportunity for white here. Now Neon can look to get back in. And that sounded like that got hand blocked, but Hog can grab it. Over to Guy. Guy continues with an awesome throw over to Griff. Wow, great little throw from Abby. Makes it 11 11. All right, exciting game here. Only eight minutes left to play, and we're all knotted up. ODA over to Big Tex. Looks like they got Pauly here. Looks like they're doing some forced backhand. Tex throwing some fakes. Now she rips it. Paulie goes up, but Dunbar is there first, and it looks like there's an injury. All right, so Neon is going to have the disc here. Getting a sub for Dunbar. It looks like Griffin's coming in. I don't know if White's going to take one or not. I think White would like to like to take a sub here, to be honest. They, they really need to. Yeah, yeah, there you go. They're, they're going to put Crump on the field for ODA. That's a good defensive replacement there. So, disc is now, or well, the game is back live here after the injury call. Going to have Felipe bringing the disc in, flanked by Bree. Side stack. Ooh, good mark there from White to stop that throw to Abby. Bree up line, oh, she kind of gets looked off, but Susie really did make up some ground there towards the end of that cut. And now it's thrown deep. Oh, but she can't reel it in. 
Nice little continuation throw there from Abby. Good spacing, good timing, but not good enough. So big text to bring the disc in here for White. Little creepy crawler action there from the male cutter. Over to Crump, who goes over to Pauly. Pauly, nice throw. Crump up the line. Susie, good cut, but maybe a little bit too early. Over to Pauly. All the way around, nice throw. Not able to continue, pretty good mark. Griffin able to make up space there to stop. Sorry, the camera work is bad there. Can't be so far down. All right, now Pauly with the disc. Oh, wow, Crump was wide open on the strike, but Pauly goes across the field. I think something was called, maybe a foul. I think it's gonna be no contest here, so White will have the disc right outside the end zone. We've got Susie with some space here. Let's see if she goes initial. Nope. Not able to get the first one. Throws it over to Pauly now, who does continue to Susie there on the break side for the goal. Good hold, needed it. Five minutes to play, white up one. All right, white up 12-11. Crump throws a blade down the sideline, stays in. Tokar fields and throws it over to Geib, who continues over to other Abby. He rips it to Felipe, but it's just a little bit too low. If she was able to keep the edge on that a little bit better, he was wide open, had a ton of space, so Crump will be bringing the disc in here. Oh, wow, he did throw that. Holy cow, I couldn't tell. Charlie reels it in. Nice play. That makes it 13-11, only four minutes to play. That's a tough turnover. Great break for White. All right. Neon's really upset that White hasn't thrown the, the pull yet here. Maybe they don't know it's the 5-6 game. Wow, they were so mad about them not throwing the pull, but then they didn't even field it. So, honestly, they have no one to blame but themselves. They will choose not to mark the disc, and they throw deep. Oh, God, I was not even close to where that was. Basically, White just deed it. Now Felipe D's this, they return fire. Hog with the goal, makes it 12-13. Two minutes to play. All right, White is up one with about a minute and a half to go. Pinecone fields and throws it over to Big Tex. If White's able to walk this one in, the game is over. If they throw a turnover, who knows what could happen. Now they need the reset, they need the reset now. Good around to Pauly, who continues over to, oh, almost got there, Dunbar, but not quite. Looked off the woman who's just literally not being guarded there. And she's not able to grab that, that's insane that you couldn't get that to her. And the wire comes up huge for White. That just gets crushed by the wire. They throw it around to Pinecone. Pinecone throws the inside. Just throws a reset, playing it nice and chilly here. Just gotta throw a couple more completions for White to seal this one. Nice and chilly here from White. Throwing a couple resets. They have to throw pretty much one more completion here. And there it is. And that is the game. White will go ahead and win this one 13-12. And they will take fifth place.